understand uh, to understand that what is class A, class B, class C amplifier, we have to learn first of all what is a load line and how it can be drawn. And to understand the load line, we have to learn first of all a parameter which is beta. Okay. Beta is a current gain for common ammeter configuration. So this is, you know, like a meter is grounded, collector and base, base is input, collector is output, and a meter is grounded. Okay. So then beta is defined as output current upon input current. That is, that is IC upon IP. Output current over the input current. This is the circuit for common emitter configuration. Here uh, the base current is 200 microampere. Okay. And then uh, we will find now what is collector current flowing. Let beta is equals to 50. Let we say it is 50. And it may have any value otherwise. 50 into 200 microampere. So it becomes 10,000 microampere. 10,000 microampere ampere mean 10 milliampere. So collector current is, this is collector current along y axis. And it is our 10 milliampere. And uh, base current is, you know, 200 microampere which is fixed. Okay. And along x axis in the graph it is collector meter voltage. So how we find collector meter voltage? This is a formula. Vc A equals to Vcc which is 10 volt minus Ic into Rc. Rc is in the figure. It is 220 ohm. Okay. So this is, you know, Ic. 10 milliampere into 220 ohm. And, uh, you know, milliampere into ohm becomes millivolt. So, it is 220 and double zero millivolt. And 220, 2200 millivolt mean 2.2 volt. So, it becomes 7.8 volt. This is VCE. It is here. Okay. VCE. So, because along x-axis, it is VCE. Now, in our figure, VCE is fixed 7.8 volt. So, here it is 7.8. Collector current is 10 milliampere. PS current is 200 microampere. These are the parameters for this figure. Now, in this figure, IB is increased 200 to 300 microampere. So, IB is increased, that means IC will also increase. So, just looking here, it becomes 15,000 microampere. And 15,000 mean 15 milliampere. So, this is the value 15 milliampere. So, this is our collector current. First it was 10, now it is 15. So it is increased collector current. So collector current is 15 milliampere. Now the thing is, what is VCE? The voltage across collector and ammeter. The same formula as was applied before. Now substituting the values. So it becomes now 6.7 volt. Now one thing to be noted, with the increase in IP, IC, VCE is not increasing, it is decreased. First it was 7.8 volt, now it is 6.7 volt. So VCE is decreased.
So as explained just uh, before, VCE is 6.7 volt, IC is 15 milliampere, it is 300 microampere. Now IP is further increased, 300 to 400 microampere with the Z. I see further increases. Now it becomes from 15 to 20 milliampere. So with the result, now the question is what happens to VCE electrometer voltage? So applying the same formula. So it becomes applying the same formula it becomes 5.6 volt again this is this is very important the vc is further decreased first it was 6.7 7, now it is only 5.6 volt so with increase in ip ic uh, it is important that uh, vce is decreasing okay this is to remember So, as I explained with the numerical values that VCE and IC, they are reciprocal. As IC increases, VCE go on decreasing. So, that's the Q points. You know, like IC is 10, 15, 20. VCE decreasing 7.8 was, it was 8. 6.7 volt then. Now it is 5.6 volts, so it is decreasing. So that's why the load line is with the negative slope. Okay, this is a load line with negative slope. It is showing that VCE and IC, they are in reciprocal. Okay, so this line is called the load line. So uh, how we draw this load line? Simple. Uh, we were having three values like uh, with 10 milliampere the VCE was 7.8 volt with 15 it was 6.7 volt with 20 milliampere it was 5.6 volt three points were chosen three points are chosen and marked on the on the area between VCE and IC then joining the three points Q1, Q2, Q3 that becomes the load line. Now this is a circuit showing uh, about this is an input signal which is varying about 300 microampere. Okay, with the, this VB is fixed reference voltage and input signal is varying about the reference. So collector current is varying in the same way but the collector emitter voltage is reciprocal. Increase in, you know, IC, VCE, VCE, it is in a decreasing trend then. So it is decreasing like this VCE. Okay. And, uh, then with the, this part of the collector current, okay, negative part, uh, because of the base current is negative, negative mean decreased. So, Collector current is other way around, it is increased. So, the faithful reproduction of the signal, there is no distortion if the Q point lies in between the load line, at the center of the load line, you can see. If Q point is at the center, at here, at the center, then there is a faithful reproduction of the input signal, there is no distortion. Only one thing is that uh, without input signal, there is some base current, a reasonable amount of base current, it flows, which is again a limitation of the circuit. So looking to this figure here, Q point node at the center, it is somewhat higher. So input signal is swinging. This is a part of the signal which is uh, 
in a which goes to surgery it is cut and uh, there is no reproduction of this part because uh, collector current becomes saturate for this part okay so here the collector current becomes saturate but uh, for rest of the signal input signal there is a collector current and here collector emitter voltage is the same way some part is cut so the rest of the part it is okay so transistor is driven into saturation because the q point is uh, uh, too close to the saturation for the given input signal okay so sub part is looking to this figure here q point is too close to cut off so input signal no problem here output is there but for this part some signal is cut because it is going to it is going in a cut off region so some part of the signal it is cut okay so this part is cut similarly collector for collector emitter voltages some part goes now here there is a problem that uh, input signal is very large but the q point here the q point is at the center of the line no problem but the signal is very very input signal is large so what happened then if the input signal is large you know this portion goes to saturate this portion becomes saturate okay and uh, uh some this is exactly in the same way the collector emitter voltage some part is cut so here again some portion is you know it is going in cut off going to cut off similarly collector emitter voltage some part is going to cut off and similarly the collector emitter voltage likewise so the signal is clipped from the both sides uh because it is going to saturation and cut off because input signal is large but q point is again it is at the center even then right aur is pe aap apne assignment upload bhi kar sakte ho upload karne ke baad aap unko dekh bhi sakte ho yahan pe videos bhi hai electronics ke physics ke spirituality ke aur ye ek mere hai आपको कब लो पे क्लिक करोगे तो आप मेरी ऐप में चले जाओगे राइट तो ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिक असाइनमेंट डॉट कॉम ओके तो ये ऐप है आपको अगर स्टोर से 